Good morning everyone, it's the Chelsea staff, 5 minute Chelsea news and there's plenty to feature, focusing on the FA Cup win yesterday and more of those transfer rumours. Let's get cracking. So to the game yesterday and Chelsea beat Nottingham Forest 2-0 at Stamford Bridge with goals from Callum Hudson-Odoi and Ross Barkley with Hudson-Odoi heavily involved in the second for Barkley. It was a good performance in the first half from the boys with Rhys James and Callum Hudson-Odoi, the outstanding players on the day. Um, yes, we had some dodgy moments, a couple of VAR decisions that went our way, but Chelsea was safely through in the game. Just a shame we couldn't capitalise in the second half and be more clinical and get more goals, three, four, five goals. But to be fair, Plucky Forest kept going and kept plugging away. But at the end of the day, Chelsea got the result. And as you can see, it's the retro kit, which is just looks fantastic. But yep, Chelsea are through in the FA Cup. They beat Nottingham Forest 2-0. There's a game this evening, Arsenal versus Leeds. After that game will be the cup draw. Let's see who we get in the fourth round. So, to a surprising story that appeared over the course of the weekend... Chelsea were after, reportedly, interested in David Alaba, the Bayern Munich left-back, who's been up there as one of the best in Europe for a period of time now. And it looks as though Chelsea were interested in signing him and were willing to offer around £60 million. Whether that's because they've been told Ben Chilwell is not going to be available is yet to be seen. But it looks as though Bayern Munich have every single intention of keeping hold of him. Danny Drinkwater is someone that's been in the news over the last week or so. The fact that his loan move to Burnley is going to be cut short and he's going to re return back to Chelsea. Um, Frank Lampard was asked of his future and just issued a seven-word response. When he was asked whether drink water will be loaned out again, he replied by saying, we will see. It is a possibility. Another story that's appeared over the weekend, again, is this ongoing situation with Wilfried Zaha. And it's reported that Frank Lampard has pulled the plug on a potential deal. The reason being, it's reported, it's not confirmed as true, it is being reported that Zaha's demanded £200,000 a week to join Chelsea. Now, to Olivier Giroud and his future. And Frank Lampard has been talking after the game yesterday. As we all know, he's only started two games this season. He's hardly featured. Frank Lampard confirmed that Giroud could make his way out of the club this month. Lampard said, There's no update on Oli, but I've spoken with him. If the conditions are that it's something he really wants to do, and it works for the club, for me and the squad, then it's something that could happen but only when all of those bases are covered, so we will see if we're there. This is a story that appeared on the weekend. Hopefully it's completely ridiculous, but apparently Jose Mourinho and Tottenham representatives have made contact with Willian in relation to a potential move across to North London. His contract's due to expire at the end of the season. There's no update on his contract situation at the moment. He spoke last week saying he's happy at Chelsea. He loves it at Chelsea. But now Jose Mourinho and Tottenham are reportedly interested. More on the situation with strikers coming into the club. If Giroud's going to go, we need somebody to come in. And as reported last week, one of our main transfer targets apparently is Moussa Dembele at Lyon. Now Chelsea have had a bid reportedly worth 34 million rejected by Lyon. But it's believed that Chelsea are prepared to pay big money to sign him. One player that made his appearance at Stamford Bridge yesterday where he's hardly featured was Pedro who was substituted late in the game. Could that be his final appearance for Chelsea? The, the winger has come in and been fantastic for us and made important contributions to our title winning season, Europa winning season and it looks as though he's now wanted by David Beckham's new side Inter Miami as it looks as though move, a possible move to Barcelona that looked to be on the cards is now fading away. Another Chelsea player linked with a move away, Michy Batshuayi. And it looks as though Crystal Palace are trying to get him back there on loan, but Chelsea won't let him go unless somebody else comes in. Could we see Giroud and Batshuayi go? Giroud on a permanent deal, Batshuayi on a loan deal, with two strikers coming in to fight for a place with Tammy Abraham. I can't see it myself. I think that only one will go. And it's more likely to be Giroud. And finally, another article in The Sun. As we know, it looked as though Emerson had a deal agreed with Inter Milan for around £25 million, And Frank Lampard will sanction the deal as long as a replacement comes in. It now looks as though Juve are in for Emerson as they're trying to get a deal done this month. Will he leave? If he does leave, who's it going to be? Inter with Antonio Conte 
or Juve and Maurizio Sarri. That's it for me today. It's 6th of January, the Monday, and this is the Chelsea Star 5 Minute Chelsea News. Here's my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe and smash the head out the like button for me. But when you also subscribe, make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any one of these videos that come out. Let me know what you think about anything discussed in the video, the rumours, the game yesterday. I'd love to hear as many from you as much as possible. Please like, please hit that like button for me. It's all important. It helps build the reputation of the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. See you all tomorrow.